I like to think I'm a pretty smart person, but when I go on TikTok, I find that there's so much knowledge that I miss and so many things I'm learning every single time I go on TikTok. So today, Lord Byron and I will be watching things that TikTok taught us. Let's go. All right, so we have a straightener. We have a jar of money. Is she gonna buy a curler? Oh no, she turns it on. No, she's not gonna straighten her money. I've seen that before. Like a lot of people were talking about it, but I'm always scared I'm gonna ruin the money. You know what I mean? I like how she like pets it too. She's like, yes, that's my nice stack of money. Now we have escape tips. I always wanted to try these in person. Okay, so like you have a big row, some serious knot action over there. No, wait, wait that. What? What? I kind of want to try that. To be fair though, I also feel like not a lot of places would tie you up with a loose rope for you to actually plan an escape route like that. Does it work with chains? I wonder. We should Google that. Okay, now we have, wait, you know water in your gel it. and then you get Filling more gel? Up. What is this magic? Hold on. Okay. So he has a cup of water. I haven't used gel in forever, I but I guess guys use it. Guys, How long do you wait? I hope this works, that'd be Look amazing. Wait, honest, wait, is this so fake? Is he faking it? That can't be. It even got bubbles. Wow, does that actually work? Let me know in the comments below if this is a trick. Am I being naive? Am I just believing TikTok without trying it out? Should I try it out? To, never, to never run, run out, out of things, things to say. say. Before I get it's inside your head and you don't even realize it, it's a phenomenon. Wow, he talks really fast. I'm not called the spotlight effect. It's a cognitive bias. So real quick, pretend that this is you. Because that's you. That's me. And you're human. And I'm a human. Then you have limitations. Of course. One of them is a phenomenon called the spotlight effect. What is that? See, because you're the center of your own world, you believe yeah, that you're I'm being perceived self more than you actually are. For example, say you're driving and you hit a red light. Right. Then you probably think that everyone around you is staring right at you, but the truth is they're not. In your head, you think- I don't think that, because why would I think that? When you're stopping at a red light, everyone's staring at you? I never thought that in my life. In your head, you think that you're being looked at way more than you actually are. So his theory is that everyone is self-centered and conceited and thinks that everyone's staring at them. Conversation when you're talking to people and you slip up, you probably think, oh my God, everyone's looking at me. Everyone's, no, no, they're not. It's, it's in your head. Like you're not. Well, I like that actually. Cause sometimes when I say something and no one laughs, I'm always like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. And I want the whole world to just wallow me up. But then no one really cares. So he's right about that. You're not as important as you think you are. You ever run out of things to say? There's two secrets. First okay. one is family. Bring up family. It's been scientifically proven that when you talk about family, it builds a stronger rapport between the person. But don't force it. It can come across as aggressive. Serious? So when I'm speaking about a family member, all of a sudden I'm building a stronger connection? I have to try that as a social experiment. Yeah, like, no, don't do that. Make it natural. Something like, oh, I really like your shirt. That's something my sister would wear. Do you have any sisters? See, that's more natural. So I oh, wow. Okay, so now he's teaching us how to be social and not awkward in a social situation. Okay, love hack that's going to blow my mind. I need to know this. My mom taught me this a couple days ago. Moms know everything. Moms do know everything. Literally everything. I don't know how, but they do. Cups, and I was going to stick them in the dishwasher. But each one has like a tag for the barcode under it. Oh, no. And they're actually pretty hard to get off. Or are they? Wait. Anything with like a sticker tag, water? stop peeling it off. Grab some tape. Wait. A piece, um, maybe this big. I've never Take tried it with piece tape. And stick half of it on to the tag. And rub it so it's. I just got some new plates. I have to try. Make this. sure to leave a little bit of a tail. Then you wax it off. Wait, what? Again. There's no way. Also, that tape is the weakest tape of them all, literally. Oh my god, I'm gonna try this on a plate. I don't know if this works on porcelain. Does it work on porcelain? Because plastic tags aren't as strongly glued on as on, I guess, porcelain or on acrylic. I don't know. I have to check. That's really cool though. That works. Argan oil. Is that glitter or foam? Snapping them off. Oh my god, why do girls do that to themselves? Oh my god. Oh, that's my biggest fear, your nail popping off like that. Oh, that's why I can't do nails like that. I need to have natural nails, I can't do that. It's like, ugh. I, I had fake nails one time and that popped and oh, the pain was so horrible. I hated it. it but no tweezers to get it out. Ew. No tweezers. Wait a minute, I have three quarters. Wait a second. That I could use. For reals? You can use a coin for a splinter, but what if, what if the splinter is really small? Is not what a tweezer is for? Interesting. I thought she just stuck like a huge toothpick on her finger too. Nice example. I can't fit, I can't fit my Snoop Dogg wine into my Ziploc bag. Understandably so. Oh wait, inside. Wait, I love that. I mean, I wouldn't try it on wine. I would try it on like something that's really big and doesn't fit into one Ziploc bag, like ketchup or something. Oh, I love this account. Genius. 
genius. Wait, mac and cheese? Wait, that's, I've never done that. I'm gonna use that actually now, every single time. That's actually genius, because I get it squirted everywhere. And then like, I have to wipe the back counter. That's terrible. That's amazing. But then again, I'm always scared that the germs from the packet will get into the food. But then again, you're cooking the food, so the germs kind of die out. But then again, I'm a germaphobe, so it's kind of hard. But we'll see. I'm definitely gonna try this one. Okay, Dawn. Tupperware. Whoa, you put some paper towel, water. Wait, you just shake it. You gotta shake, shake, shake. Is it? Wait, is this the hack that saves your Tupperware from pasta stains? Because by the end of like a month, my Tupperware turns orange because I just leave my pasta in there. Oh gosh, that'd be amazing if this worked. I'm gonna try that. But the paper towel didn't even get dirty. Okay, we got a bell pepper. I actually never cut bell peppers like that, ever. I go like inside a circle. What? Wait, what? I've never seen that. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I need to see that if this works. Wait, did it work? Oh my God. Oh my God, that's amazing because I always need like scissors or I break my nails by like poking a hole in there and like rip it open. That's amazing. Are you tired of opening your soda cans a traditional way? Definitely, that's not how I open my soda can. I don't use a can opener. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> She's hilarious. Wow. Guys, we learned how to open a can without a can opener. Who knew that a can had that little opener? You just need a shoelace. Did you know that? Well, now we know. The more you know. An egg. Oh, crack from the bottom. That's a very perfect little crack. Ew, once it's ready. And then shake it. Okay, cold water. I like egg hacks because I love eggs. What are you gonna do? Shake it? It's like a maraca. That seems like a lot of work. Or you can just add a little bit of vinegar and all of a sudden your egg just peels off. But also that actually was pretty clean. That was a pretty clean egg job. But then your egg has cold water on it. So is it worth it? Ooh, <gasps> sandwich. Wait, wait, is he gonna do that thing where he squeezes it with a cup and makes like a little sandwich? <gasps> I love that. And deep fry it. Toasted. Oh my God, that is genius. See, I used to deep fry it, I never toasted it. The toast makes the difference. Oh, mm, yum. But what about all the rest of the bread? That's such a waste of bread. Like actually a waste of bread. What do you do with the rest of it? Bread pudding, French toast. Well, okay, we just saved the bread problem. There you go, now you have little cheese sandwiches. Pitas. Cake, nobody's gonna know. Double layer that. Wait, wait. Is she gonna pretend that she baked this? That's genius. She just completely like violated that cake, removed its icing, that poor little cake. But I do gotta say her decoration job is on point. Oh, she put little lollipops. That's gorgeous. I have a feeling she knows how to bake a good cake. She doesn't have time. Also that cake looked so juicy and like moist and good that why bother when you have such a good cake available in the store? Okay, so we have Elmer's clear glue on a hairbrush. Please don't tell me this is a prank. Oh my God. Wait, oh, so people put this on their hair. Ew, let's do it. Okay. To be fair, anything with Elmer's glue is gonna be legit. See guys, I have a hack for you instead of all of this hard work. I have a better hack. So you take another thin brush or like even tweezers will work and you just go like this through your brush and all your hair comes out. There you go. Okay, so person's in the car. Oh, handcuffed too. So what if you're stuck in a situation? What's gonna happen? Normally I would use a bobby pin, but I found this awesome bracelet. An awesome bracelet. Oh, is it one of those that literally is like a survival bracelet? On this bracelet is a small handcuff key. Ooh, is it universal? Use it. It also has a tongue. tungsten bead. 
So what it does is I spread it like this, move this one out, and the moment I let it go, no. the window is gonna shatter. That's genius. That's amazing. I was wondering, I was like, how can that possibly help you? Because you can't really unlock anything with like that little bolt. But all of a sudden, and you got your little weapon. Amazing. Ooh, it's What's wrong with you? We are Ooh. out of Advil. Oh, you know she's Canadian because she uses Advil. Nice. Pinching in between the webbing of your fingers Wait. right here and just like rub it back and forth. Why is this? Is this a chakra point? Nice. Next time I have a headache, I'm going to try this. Tunnel vision. Okay, now she's I know. tunnel vision. Clench your butt cheeks. What? Wait, what? When you have tunnel vision, you need to clench your butt cheeks? Okay. It's something we all have. We all have butt cheeks and we can all clench them every now and again. Dude, my arm fell asleep. It's all like pins and needles. Oh, I hate when that happens. When I'm like lying on one side and all of a sudden I can't feel this arm. The worst. Oh, oh okay. For that, try it like rocking your head just back and forth. It okay, should get neck. rid of it pretty quickly. Wait. What is she like? A muscle doctor now? It's happening. Why is it all of a sudden not asleep? No, I'm gonna try all of this. Water? Wait, wait, what was that? Clay? Icing? It looks like buttercream. Wait, paperclip? So, was that cement? Was that clay? It was cement. It was legit cement. I mean, that's pretty DIY crafty. That's actually really cute. You can even double it and do like a little V so you get two little pictures. That's adorable. Got tired of my neighbors being able to see into my bedroom. That is a valid concern. See, I don't care about curtains and windows. You can see everything. No, for real though, that's a big fear. I'm always like so paranoid with my neighbors seeing anything that I'm doing. I'm like, oops, bye bye. And then you shut that curtain. Okay, so what, what is she going to do? Put plants? Get a curtain? Oh, that's a big window right next to her bed. That's creepy. Bed sheets, cotton colors, window film. Oh, yes. Yes, you can use that in the shower and stuff. But then you won't be able to see the window. Also, guys, I've used that one time, and then when you try to remove it, it like sometimes leaves a residue. So be careful. Use a good quality one. But that's so pretty. She used such a gorgeous one. Oh my God. That's gorgeous. I need to find that. Okay, shoelace. Oh, I always wanted to know how people do all these amazing like shoelace creative things on their sneakers. I have like a zipper sneaker because I'm so lazy. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, I know this one. We've already done this one, guys. Love this. Gorgeous. Yummy. School life hack, except we aren't even in school. Very true. But we'll keep pretend. Oh, I have a locker somewhere. Oh, also a stall. Wait. I always wonder because sometimes, you know, when the stall doesn't work, you always have to ask a fellow friend to watch the door or even a stranger. Sometimes you're like, can you please watch the door because the lock doesn't work. And now you have a hair elastic hack. That's genius. Oh my God. Can we have never thought of that? Wow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these oh, wonderful little TikTok lessons because I sure did. Make sure you guys leave this video a huge like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.